Hello, everybody. My name is Rob Goldberg, and I will be your son or daughter's integrated science teacher this year. I just wanted to take a few minutes to um, highlight some of the class expectations, um, guidelines, and just general class makeup as to what we're going to be uh, looking like this year, uh, being fully remote and then uh, eventually going into uh, our hybrid model. So I, I was going to go over the uh, course syllabus that I showed everybody on the first day of school that I have posted on the Schoology website as well. So um, the, basically uh, what uh, we're going to be doing this year is uh, we're going to be learning about a lot of different um, topics in science that we wouldn't normally cover in a traditional Regents science course. So it, it affords us the opportunity to kind of look at science in more of a, uh, a news cycle way. So I, I look at what's going on in the news currently, and that oftentimes guides what we do in class. So it's a great opportunity to branch away from the curriculum that the state provides and learn science in a different uh, manner. Now, because of the um, obvious nature in which we find ourselves, uh, things had to be a little bit different in terms of how I structured class. So the required materials in which they need, really all they need is their tablet or a way to get onto a Zoom meeting or onto the internet. Um, very rarely, uh, if ever this year, I will provide any sort of uh, paper or hard copy of anything. Um, just about everything that I will give is going to be strictly online through Schoology. So they might not even need a folder or something to write with, just as long as they have uh, a device to get online and get onto Zoom. So my class requirements, um, what I'm uh, asking everybody to, to do in order to be best prepared for class and to uh, conduct themselves in the proper fashion is more or less what I would expect of them in any given year. So obviously the first thing is that they come to class on time, whether that be um, showing up to a Zoom session on time, or if we are in the hybrid model to coming into class uh, as the, the period starts. So um, being on time is very important, obviously, so that I can get the class started and that we don't um, you know, lose any time uh, trying to get everybody situated and uh, we can get going for the day. Obviously, respect and consideration for others is uh, another big thing that I uh, expect from students. Uh, in Zoom sessions, uh, obviously, they need to conduct themselves in a professional manner, uh, being respectful to others. Uh, as well as being in school as well once we go into the hybrid model. It's, it's the same uh, for both um, methods of teaching. Uh, I do assign um, homework or classwork uh, regularly. It's pretty much every time we meet for class, considering we only meet twice a week. Um, so they have uh, already become used to um, having a new assignment every time we have class. So uh, what's new this year, though, or what's uh, a different opportunity from previous years if that is that if somebody is absent for either a Zoom class or an in-person class, they no longer have to wait until they have class next time to come and ask me um, specifically what they missed before they actually they, uh, start um, completing the work that they, did, they weren't there for. This year, uh, if they are to miss class, I provide all of the information and all of the uh, work that they missed on Schoology. So they don't have to wait any longer for me to tell them what to do. If they were to miss class, all they need to know is that they go right into the Schoology class page and all of the work that was assigned for that class that they were not there for will be posted. So there, uh, there's no longer that kind of uh, gray area of do I wait for class to ask Mr. Goldberg what to do, uh, I'm not sure. All they need to do is check Schoology and everything will be provided for them. Now, the way that I'm going to break down the grades for the class is pretty similar to way, the way that I would break down um, like the earth science class if they had me um, a few years back. So the only big difference is there are no quizzes or tests in this class. They all come from research projects. Those are going to be the biggest portion of their overall grade. That's going to be 50%. We do have some lab activities, although they are going to obviously be a little bit different this year. That's going to be 30% of their grade. And then just general work, general assignments that I provide outside of that, that's going to be 20%. So a little bit of a breakdown as to what these three 
uh, categories look like. As I said before, the projects are the biggest portion of their grade and they are all going to be research based. Now I'm going to try my best to kind of um, give them different types of research projects, whether it be through a PowerPoint, uh, whether it be uh, through maybe a short essay uh, or uh, other means. Uh, I try to differentiate them so they don't get um, you know, too bogged down, so to speak, in the same kind of thing over and over again. Uh, but I do give uh, the directions uh, with a rubric or at least a guideline as to what it is I'm looking for. Uh, and I always introduce the uh, assignment and go over it uh, point by point before I let them get to work. So hopefully that way that there's no confusion as to what it is that they are expected to do. Uh, the labs, uh, again, because of the fact that obviously right now nobody's here and even when we are in hybrid, we have to be um, socially distant. Uh, a lot of the activities that I had planned, we might not be able to do, but I'm gonna try my best to maybe uh, alter them a little bit so that we can abide by the guidelines that we have this year. Um, but at the very least for right now, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to alter them uh, significantly or unfortunately not be able to do some of them. But I'm gonna try to keep uh, those activities within the curriculum so that way you know, they, they get a little bit of that hands-on experience that I love so much about this course. Um, assignments. I, I do give assignments pretty regularly. Um, they do expect that uh, every day they have new work, as I said before. Um, so the assignments, what they look like, it, it's basically uh, as we uh, uncover some of the, what's going on in the news currently, I oftentimes give uh, news articles or I give scientific articles or videos that I have them watch or read and uh, gain a little bit more knowledge of what we're learning in class and um, just answer some basic questions about them. That's gonna be the most common type of assignment that I do give uh, throughout the year. Now on Wednesdays, because we don't have class, they're, uh, even when we are in hybrid, they are fully remote. So what's that, what that's going to look like is um, instead of meeting for class, uh, it's more of a day for them to catch up on the week's work if they weren't able to finish everything. I do oftentimes give an assignment on Wednesday that will be due that day that will help me um, take attendance for that day. But sometimes if the work is, um, if there's more work one week than another, uh, I might provide a little bit extra time to finish. Now, all the work that I do give from Thursday to Tuesday will be due on every Wednesday, the following Wednesday. And that's because it can be somewhat confusing as to when work is going to be due. Because sometimes, you know, if I give a, a, an assignment on Thursday, some kids might not know, is it due Friday tomorrow or is it due the next time we have class? I'm not sure. So to eliminate any of that confusion, all the work I give from Thursday to Tuesday will be turned in every Wednesday at the latest. They have until 11.59 p.m. to turn it in, so they don't have to wait until the end of, or they don't have till the end of the school day, so to speak, to do that. So they have plenty of time to get that done, but again, every Wednesday, all of their work from the week will be um, due to be turned in. And as I said before, sometimes I do also give assignments on Wednesday that are due that day, but again, other times I might forego that uh, in order to um, ensure that everybody is able to complete the work from the week. Also on Wednesday, I do hold office hours in case anybody has any questions or they need help with anything. On the syllabus, it does say 12.30 to two every week, but I had to change that um, because things have obviously changed since the very beginning of the year. And the new office hours, go from one o'clock to two o'clock every week. So I do hold my uh, a Zoom session from one to two and students are more than welcome to um, jump in on the Zoom session, ask a quick question and leave if they need, but I'm always available on Wednesdays to answer uh, any questions or problems that they might have. My contact information is up at the top of the syllabus right here. So the best way is probably through email at rgoldberg at midlakes.org. I also provide my classroom phone number, and you can even reach me through Schoology since that's the way that um, all of their classes are going to be 
uh, run this year. I'm obviously going to be on Schoology quite often. So if you message me through Schoology, I would also uh, be able to respond fairly quickly. Um, but please, if you have questions or concerns about anything at any point during the year, do not hesitate to uh, reach out and I'd be happy to uh, um, help you in anything that you might need. So I thank you so much for your time and watching this video and I look forward to working with all of you this year. Thank you.